Okay. Uh, so, yep, uh, it's a Monday. It's Labor Day. Uh, but, uh, you know, we still got Guild Wars. So let's take a look and see what uh, we're dealing with here. Uh, fortunately, we I think we lost the last one, unfortunately. Uh, but fortunately, we are still in top 100. So that's pretty cool. And it's looking like we're not doing too bad this Guild War. Let's see. They've lost half their tokens, and they're at about half of what we have. And we still have quite a... Or, no, wait, hold on. Yeah, they've lost... We only have 16 more, but we're beating them quite handily. So I think we're good. I think we're uh, we're not too bad. Um, so, okay, like this says, ignore strongholds. So we're probably going to do that. Uh, let's see. So we might hit that one just to knock it over. Um, none of these here seem to be quickly knockable. And uh, we, we didn't attack this tower. But like I said before... Um, being in this higher tier guild, I think uh, getting victories is a little is going to be a little more important. So I think I might, you know, going forward, I'm probably going to take. I guess you know, I guess you know, there's no way around it. It's I'm going to be taking a little uh, easier fights because it's a little different when you're taking fights for a team rather than taking fights for yourself. So it kind of like contrasts a little bit in my compared to like my Fire Emblem, the way I treat that game. Because uh, losses and, and things like that are, are like, they they reflect poorly on me, but they don't like drag down my team with me. So um, being in a, in, a, in a guild like this, which I think is uh, a lot higher, it's more important to like do your part and just kind of like not try to overreach, you know what I mean? So like I said, I, I might not be attacking many towers uh, going forward, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, this guy actually attacked me like nine minutes ago. Um... Yeah, so this first team won, the second team lost, as always. Uh, I decided to try this out, see how this works. Um, strangely enough, this first team keeps working, I'm not sure why. Um, it just seems like it'd be really easy to beat, maybe, but I don't know, maybe maybe people who are attacking me just don't have the, the proper units or something, or they underestimate what's going on there. Um, but yeah, so let's go, let's take out this guy here, hopefully. Um, so right off the bat, this guy's got a lot of damage coming my way. Uh, this team is still here from last time. I can't believe we just like soloed that team with this. That's, that's still pretty funny to me. Um, this bottom team is kind of interesting. Let's see what to do with this top team. I think honestly... Maybe just running. So there's they don't have any. They don't really have any debuffs. Ugh. So I think maybe Ruel might be good. It's gonna be kind of boring, but um, let's do that. Where's uh, where's Alencia? Um, yeah, so this is going to be kind of boring, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, it's not that big a deal. The biggest problem we're going to have is like crowds going to try to hit us. Uh, but that's not that big. That's not too bad. Um, so we, we're probably going to snipe her, deal with him as we get more healing. Uh, let's go. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll stick with that. Hopefully uh, we can deal with this um, Arbiter Vildred without too much de too much problems, but uh, you know that never tends to turn out that way. Um, so how about we run Gperg here? We take you, and then we bring a fire unit. What about this? How does this look? Because um, this Ravi is going to focus him no matter what. She's going to S3, but then kind of focus on him probably. Because she can't hit him, and she's not going to hit him. Or she's not going to hit her. So she's going to focus on her. Um, but I guess I just I really want like a healer. More than anything, to be just to be safe, right? I always want to be safe. Uh... Hmm. Hell, I might even just bring a grass unit, so 
We can fight against uh, maybe that, like that. That might be interesting. Uh, I'm actually kind of concerned here. We might not have enough damage. Like that, Alencia might be able to like take out my uh, S10A uh, if she gets multiple. Like if she gets too many S3s off is the problem. Okay, not too bad. Let's hit you. Now let's get this defense buff up on everyone. Um, we'll wait so that we can start like overlapping the defense buffs. Uh, we will hit you for now. So 2100 on their crow. Oh, I'm about to get hit with the S3 here. Okay, so not too bad. Oh, let's work on you. She's got evasion, but let's still just like poke away at her. Okay, not too bad. Oh, let's just hit you. Oh, nice. She should be dead. Yep, cool. Yeah, so that was a bit of a concern. Um, I guess we'll just do this. Obviously, uh, it's gonna overlap with the Krau's buff, but that's all right. Um, let's make sure he doesn't hit um, Ruel here. Is the biggest concern. Okay, very interesting. So let's uh. Hit him with the S1. Come on, damn it. Okay, so he's gonna hit my crow. That's okay. Um, he's gonna hit him for about 11k. Yeah, he didn't survive. But that's okay, like we said. We'll just revive him. Um, uh, funnily enough, I think what one of the things, and I, I, I didn't get a chance to make the uh, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to make the uh, the video I wanted to um, over the weekend about ML Crow, but teams like this without any healing are really susceptible to ML Crow, right? Because he's gonna hit for 5k. I'm gonna be running Hillag's Lance on him, or or either Hillag's or uh, the other one, um, Steadfast Gatekeeper, and then he's got a speed buff on his S1, so he's gonna be do hitting a lot, you know with his S3. So he's gonna hit the S3 for about 5k damage. Have the next one be about like 6k damage. And then the third one be about 7k damage. And you just it's just a matter of like whittling them down over time. Um yeah, I don't know. It, like just having no healer is gonna be a lot uh worse, I think, going forward. Let's push you back. If I can. Um but yeah. Like would would I would Crow be ideal uh, into this team? I, ML Crow be ideal into this team? Not necessarily sure. I'd probably want to think about that. But um, teams like this, you know what I mean, where it's like they're not exactly doing the most damage, and they don't have a whole lot of sustainability. Yeah, so this is kind of irritating. So we're gonna take another. Uh, Of course, I didn't get the uh, defense break. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, Twenty-four plus like the three thousand. Uh, let's let's heal you. We're gonna take another S one from what's his name there. Ooh, wow, that guy's got some serious uh, effectiveness. This is bad, actually. Okay, so we got him. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's get everybody with the defense buff because we're about to kill this uh, this arbiter. Okay. Of course, you got the Alexas um, when I didn't, you know, the one time it, we weren't supposed to. Okay. Okay. So 
Uh, the important thing is that uh, Ruel survived, which is really, that's about it. Um, let's just soul burn this uh, so we can get massive healing here. Um, and then he's dead. So now we can all just kind of barrel down on um, Arbiter here. Oh, I got it through the mischance. And the second time through the mischance. So there you go. She basically one-shot him, or one-turned him, one-cycle, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's pretty cool. So, of course, Alencia is, is going to be a huge uh, a huge payoff for investment uh, in general. So those of you out there curious about it, uh, she's never not going to be worth it. Um, let's hit you. Hopefully I can stun her. Uh, let's see. So my uh, Tenebria, my S10A has about um, 200 speed, so that's pretty cool. Uh, she might be on uh, that one healing artifact. Yeah, she is. Okay. I think it's max too because that's, that's a massive heal. Okay, so we can't crit them currently. Uh, this team might have been actually like just a really bad idea in general, but that's fine. We'll, we'll see how we'll ride this out. See how it goes. Okay, I got the stun on the on the Alencia, which is what I wanted. Ugh, I forgot that uh, stupid nonsense there. Okay, so here comes this. Wow, she basically half half health half healthed my um, S ten A there, and I keep getting these crits, so that's pretty cool. Oh, and here goes this one, and another crit <laughs> through crit debuff, so that's pretty cool. For once, I get to be on the uh, receiving end of that. Okay, let's just kill her because she's well. Her, she's kind of her usefulness has kind of uh, expired itself here um, to a certain degree, but that's fine. Okay. So S1 into S2. Yep, yep. Uh, unfortunately, I think uh, he might just die. Okay, so we get a second one and we get a second boost. Uh, so let's just hit this. So she has Caladra, so that's cool. So she's doing more damage, and I get that. Uh, let's hit her. She'll hit one, two, okay. So we're actually running out of uh, uh, <laughs> of uh, G perks <laughs> HP pool here, so that's kind of worrisome. Okay. You want to try me? Um, let's just kill her, I guess. Hopefully, this kills her. <laughs> uh, it does more damage based on um, a bunch of debuffs. Okay, so that was cool. Um, let's get this off on you. Uh, I'd rather not lose Gperg, but uh, you know it's not that big a deal if I do. Okay. Let's get another poison stack on you here. Oh well, she's just gonna die, I think. Yeah, I think she's just gonna die. Um, poison. Ooh, so I'm losing Gperg. That kind of sucks. Uh, but she's dead, so we're good. Um. There you go. So, uh, kind of risky, not 100% recommended, but uh, uh, in, in most cases. But uh, it was all right. Um, as always, the the Alencia does a lot of damage, so you always want to be careful for that. Let's try to get you down so that someone else can knock you over. Um, what do I want to do up here? See, this is a t this is I'm telling you, this is the kind of team where. Um, ML Crow might be kind of interesting in, right? So you just basically whittle down the Lilius, um, you know, because, you know, it's not just ML Crow by himself, right? You're going to have other things around him um, where you can help support his damage, um, other tankier options, like maybe an ML Crow and the Alencia, and you do hit the S3 on the Crow, and then you hit the S3 on the Alencia, and you're doing pretty decent damage there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's like I said, it's it's interesting. Uh, it's interesting to think about. We'll see when he, when he gets here. Um, okay, so down here, I think I might just do the classic, uh, oh, where are you? Here you are. This classic, uh, pairing here. 
Where are you? Um, there you are. This might not, well actually this might be kind of fishy. Might be kind of suspect. Um, mainly because if I kill that Vildred, we could be looking at some seriously, uh, seriously high damage numbers there. But that'll be fine, I think. Um, as for up here, what about you and you? Yeah, that looks like fun. Uh, hopefully, yeah, 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 it looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, we'll do that. I kind of want to actually do uh, Researcher Carrot. Oh, this is a really bad idea, but let's do it anyway. Uh, my Researcher Carrot's been like itching to do anything, so let's kind of see what, what she can do. So... Everybody's baited off of her, so my so that Charles will basically attack whoever uh, is weakest, and he will he'll ignore the um, uh, researcher carrot. Uh, that uh, the Lilius will attack her, and the A Rabbi will attack her. So she should be fine to just free fire from the back range. So let's uh, let's just see where this goes. Um, this looks like kind of a bit of fun, really. Um, you know, hopefully I don't uh, screw it up here. I mean, after after what I just said in terms of like you know, <laughs> try not to let your 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 guild or your team down. Um, but it's always, as always, it's important to realize too, like you're not, especially like here, like I'm such a small part of this guild that uh, you know we're not gonna win or lose based off of anything I do. So that's always interesting to to think about as well. Um, so let's hit you because she can't heal. Um, let's hit you, let's hit this. Okay, so we crit everybody. Let's take a look at what kind of damage numbers we're putting up. I should have looked at uh, that. Uh... So 3,000, 5,000 on, on her for some reason. That was kind of weird. Okay, so that's not too bad. So let's just burn everybody. Uh, I really do need to heal this, um, my researcher carrot. Ooh, that was very nice. Uh, just because, let's see who she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna hit her. Fine. I need to heal her so that she can get. Well. Ugh. Nah, let's not. Uh, you want to? I have her on a life steal set, and you kind of want to keep her topped off usually because she gets twenty five percent damage reduction on her s uh, when when she is at max health uh, when she gets hit for the first time at max health. Um, ooh, this might hurt a lot. Oof. Uh, we might not even have to burn that. I think I'm just gonna drop it on him. Okay, so he's just dead. That was pretty cool. Um, okay. Okay, so this is gonna hurt actually quite a lot. Okay. Um, let's hit you to try to slow you down here. She actually surprisingly has more, a lot of crit chance for some reason. It's kind of weird, honestly. Um, uh, my, my, um, researcher carrot has a lot of crit chance. I mean, that's what I meant to say. Uh, let's just get the defense buff up. So hopefully she can survive getting hit by uh, Lilius and uh, the, the dual attack from Lilius here. Uh, long enough to get the Ruel heal up again. Oh, might, probably not. Yeah, I don't think she's going to survive this. Oh, okay, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, cool, cool. Let's see if she survives she survives this. This can actually do quite a lot of damage sometimes. Not in this case. So I think Lilius should die after getting hit by... If, if she gets burned, anyway. Um, she's got a, Apparently she's got a lot of resistance here. Okay, there we go. And she's dead. Perfect. Um, yeah, couldn't have gone better. Four K off of the two burns. That's not too bad. Uh, let's just hit her and see if we can get the defense break, which we did. So that's cool. Um, and then we get the S two. Uh, I, I can't wait to have my Lilius at like full strength. Um, she's pretty good now, as you can see, or my Lilius, my Alencia at full strength. She's pretty good now, as you can see, but, 
She's not as good as she could be. Um, with an Abyssal Sword, oof, she's going to be quite scary. So <laughs> Carrot actually did something against top 100. Of course, it's not top 20, so it's not the biggest deal. Uh, but, you know, something is something, right? So that's pretty cool. This might be another interesting team to bring ML Crow into, just because he can survive. Uh, he can survive the, uh, the, what's it called? The Arbiter, whatever Arbiter is dishing out. And he can survive. He can hit. He can keep hitting ML Ken. Because uh, he doesn't crit, and we'll have to worry too much about like what ML Ken's dishing out, so that's kind of interesting to think about as well. Um, let's hit you with this. So yeah, I mean, you know, I I'm just you know, <laughs> I'm I'm kind of excited to get uh, ML Crow as soon as he comes out. So I'm already like formulating you know, where he's going to be good, what what kind of positions I want to put him in, and what teams to build around him. Um, so yeah, uh, of course I crit the Ken there. So that's pretty disconcerting there's this so I think uh, RB is gonna die here uh, yep so let's hopefully we can survive this I think we should but uh, you always you know if you're not cringing at an RB then you know obviously oh shit oh actually so this is pretty cool so Okay, so let's take a look at what kind of damage numbers this is going to do for us. Okay, okay. So this is cool. I think uh, we might be able to just um, S3 Crow right now. Let's just kill him before he does anything uh, I don't want him to do. So I'm hitting him for about 10k. Let's hope, let's hope that's enough. Yep, very cool. Yeah, and I, that's another thing to consider, right? Like, a lot of people don't realize that your Crow... He doesn't always like. He's not like uh, what's his name. He's not like uh, what's it, what's his name. We, you know his name. Um, Dark Corvus, where Dark Corvus can like 100 to zero somebody with one hit. A lot of times, with, when you're using regular Crow, you're hitting people who are like you know at like 10k, like you saw there. Granted, the the, the new Crow has is only doing like 5k, so that's a bit of a far shy from um, from the 10k like I just did there. But that's a lot of the, the range you kind of hit people at when you're using um, regular crowd. So it's, it's it's important to realize that. Um, come on, don't don't counter. Oh, okay, we're, he's dead. Yeah, it's important to realize a lot of the time that like the fact that you can just spam out 5k damage consistently and you know 5k and more damage consistently um, is a, is a point in 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 ML Kraus favor like. People underestimate how off, like how good such a consistent uh, amount of damage can be put out, compared to what Crow does now. Like I said, you don't always hit someone from zero to one hundred the way you do with, or one hundred to zero the way you do with uh, Dark Corvus. Um, so having that, like you know, basically, basically, uh, it, it, it's a good opener because you're hitting everybody for five k, right? And you know, you know, you can hit uh, Kens and things like that in AOE, and he also has his S two passive, which is amazing. But it's also a good execute. So someone's like getting down to like, you know, as the game goes on and someone gets down to like 8,000 HP, well, Crow can hit them for a good solid, you know, 8K, uh, 8K horse at that point. Um, so there you go. Like that, that's something to consider on, on that front. Uh, but let's go see. So someone's attacking here. Probably should just wait to see how they do. Yeah. But yeah, that's something to consider. Um, if you want to be really crazy about it, I think what would be really fun to do, if you had the gear for it, is, um, and I'll talk about this in the crowd video too, in the ML crowd video, um, but run like an ML crowd, 250 speed, 25,000 HP, uh, all the rest of the stats don't really matter too much, I mean, of course you want defense there, you want, you know, basically whatever crowd wants, you put it on him, uh, but, but the, the, the important stats are those, so 25k HP, um, you know, 250 speed, just a really fast, like, you know, annoying, like, you know, strong crowd. Uh, and then maybe, like, if you can get those stats on a rage set, man, like, that would be ridiculous. Like, yeah, like 30% off of your, what? If you, let's say you're hitting for 5k on a, uh, on a, on your first horse. Of course, you're for, if you're going 250, you're probably going to be the first one to take the turn that, that turn. Um, but if you're hitting for you know five thousand on a rage set, you're hitting for what uh, six fifty, right? You, you get thirty percent, so ten percent of five thousand is five hundred. Yeah, so you're hitting for six six fifty, um, and that's not including the scaling. So once you start scaling up, right, you start talking about like let's say eight thousand. If you're hitting a horse for eight thousand, 
plus the thirty percent on top of that is what? Uh, twenty four two thousand is ten thousand like four hundred something like that, right? Yeah, so you, it's eight thousand plus two thousand four hundred on top. Um, you're hitting someone for ten k, like the whole team for ten k. That's that's no joke, man. I'm just just putting that out there. That's no joke. Um, but yeah, so that, that that's of course that's that's fantasy land. Um, getting crowd with those kind of stats on a rage set, and then having to worry about getting making sure the debuffs are up all the time is kind of eh, it's kind of iffy. Uh, but if you can pull it off, like gosh damn, that's gonna be hilarious. Like. Imagine Crow, ML Crow, maybe make him slower. Make him make him like 240, 230, and then have your Tywin here at like 250. So Tywin goes first, debuffs everybody, and then gets hit, and then they get hit with the the ML Crow horse right after. <laughs> I'm already, I'm getting into like, you know, nonsensical stuff here. But yeah, like, I mean, you know, I, I wish I had an ML Tywin. That's all I got to say about that. Um, but yeah, just keep a lookout <laughs> for those defenses. They're going to be pretty irritating. Uh, so presumably what's left is all pretty irritating, so let's kind of look at what we've got here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have enough damage up here. What if I do this? And uh, where are you? The uh, Where's the girl? Uh, where is she? This. Where are you? Here. So what if we do this and this? Oh, she's running on Bastion of Perlusia. Hopefully she can survive with coming out of him. Or uh, like his S1 is gonna do whatever. He's gonna hit one of these people, so that's fine. Or his S his S3 is gonna hit one of these people, that's fine. So his S3 his S1 is gonna AoE. Uh, so hopefully with the barrier she can survive what he's putting out, but unfortunately the problem we're looking at is that she's really fast, so she can uh, like strip her own barrier from herself, which is kinda of irritating. Um but yeah, hopefully with the dual attacks I can bring her along more than I can bring um Ruel along and we can do uh, some we can do some damage here so that's what I'm hoping for down here we're gonna do the same thing we did last time where we just uh, deal with this I don't know who was here last time instead oh it was Krau so this should be a lot easier because um, we don't have to worry about Krau s 3 so we can just waste his S3 on him or uh, do, you know just kind of not be too worried about it so yeah I mean I, I guess we'll just, we'll just go with this we'll see what happens um, hopefully we uh, pull the W here and don't embarrass ourselves in front of the YouTube audience. Um, do I want to S3? Yeah, let's get this damage out of the way here. Okay. So... Let's hit... I guess I'll just hit you with this. It's not that big a deal. Uh, I'm not going to get the stun, obviously, but I'm probably not going to get the stun on Ruel, and getting the stun on a Ravi is not like that big a deal anyway. Uh, let's hit you with that. Uh, so we didn't get him low enough, unfortunately. Oh, well, he's going to get healed, so that's fine. So she she blew her S3 heal um, already, so that's pretty good. Uh, so her S3 is down, and uh, we just need to pop um, Kron's S3. Uh, funnily enough, Ravi is like way lagging behind over here. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, so let's just see if we can kill you. Come on. Nope, of course not. Okay, so her shield is gone. So that shield was probably the most worthless thing uh, in basically the universe. Um, so I thought that was, that's kind of interesting personally to me anyway. Um... So there's not much we can do here other than probably. Um, okay, so here's the here's the issue with this. If I hit him with the S1, he's gonna die no matter who comes with her. Or he's not gonna die. He's gonna proc the immortality. Uh, the problem with that is he'll have his immortality, which means he's going to S3 someone, most likely Ruel, and I'm not sure she can survive that. Her her HP bar is looking kind of weak there. Um. So I think I'm just gonna do this. I think I'm just gonna let's do this. Okay. So his that poison. Oh my gosh, dude! I hate this game. Well, that's fine. I mean, the, the idea was we didn't want to like kill him. Um. Maybe we should have. Uh, we didn't want to kill him because he was gonna S three uh, Ruel here. So I'm gonna S two Ruel to make sure she can survive. Uh his S3 
And then if um, what's her name dies, then we'll be fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring for the love of like there's a there's a there's a fifty fifty percent chance who she's gonna bring on that, and she does not ever really care. That is beyond agitating to me. Uh, which is why a lot of people don't like using um, Alencia, which is fair enough, but uh, I, I think, yeah, I think it's it's like the problem isn't so much that Alencia, uh, that Lilius, I, I think I said Alencia, the problem isn't so much that Lilius um, dual attacks with the wrong person usually, it's more the idea that um, it's my mistake for relying on Lilius's uh, S1 for anything at all is, is the bottom line there. Um, it, it sounds kind of absurd, but like the thing is you have to realize you have to play Lilius like Her s1 is her s1, right? And then whoever dual attacks with her is a bonus on top. It's, it shouldn't be you shouldn't be thinking about it as like Oh, her s1 is gonna do massive, you know gains out of it. You know, you do this you can do that it, You should always consider it first and foremost uh, so, it's, so he didn't have the attack buff, which is the, the biggest thing that was concerning me the health scaling is pretty uh, egregious here but we, we made it through, so very good. Uh, let's hit you. The Her S2 is back up again, so that's cool. So, uh, I mean, I think I think we can all see I, I planned that out this way. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it, it's when you're using Lilius, if you're relying on her, um, on her S1 to bring someone useful, you're using her wrong. You really need to look at her S3 on its own, like, or her S1 on its own, right? Like, I'm going to S1 someone, and then whatever, whoever comes with you is sort of a cherry on top, right? That's the way you got to kind of look at it. Um, if, you, if, you need, if you need someone who does bring, it's like, oh, this person's going to bring this, you know, whoever I want with her, with him or her, with her uh, every time, or him or her, you're going to want to bring, uh, what's his name, the um, SC Raz, right, with his S2. The problem with the S2 is it's like once every so often, which is kind of similar, right? So SC Raz, when you need it on command, he can S2. But Lilius kind of like, you know, but you have to wait for the cooldown to come up. And Lilius, you, she can keep doing her S1, but like, you know, it's not always going to bring the right person. So you can kind of think of them as coinciding. You have uh, SC Raz's S2 on, you know, when, it, when it's active, it's who you want when you want it. Uh, the problem is it's not always going to be active. With Lilius, it's like, you can, you'll do it a lot. And, you know, if you get lucky, you get lucky. If not, you don't. But you still get some benefit out of it, usually, if you, if you bring the... If you bring the uh, the right, if you bring the right hero. Uh, so let's see if we can just kill. No, I don't think we can. Never mind. I was trying to see if we could just kill him early, but probably not. Uh, funnily enough, this S3 that I just did here was actually kind of stupid on my part because I should have just S1 the. Um, I should have just S1 the uh, RB there. Um, because now, like all this, like that's four, st that's three stacks I could have gotten from uh, Lilius off of there, which I didn't. Oh my gosh, he didn't die! I can't believe that. Ugh. All right, let's not kill him. Let's give ourselves some turn to like recover here. Um, I think we'll kill him next turn. If my uh, what's his name? Oh well, I guess she's gonna die now. Um, that's fine. So basically, m most everyone's dead here. We didn't get the Alexis proc twice in a row, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think we won this off of just RNG, personally. Uh, yep, so there's that. She's not going to do anything, because that ability is kind of dumb. Seriously, that abil ability hurts me how how badly, uh, how poorly used it, it usually tends to be. Um, her on auto is not very good. Um, especially, like, like, I use her in Fire Expedition, and... Um, and uh, Gollum, not that I farm Gollum very much, um, and it's just atrocious how many times she uses it to no effect because no one's affected by that. And really, all I have to do is like write in one line of code that's like, if they can't be taunted, don't taunt them. Like, gosh damn, why does the AI have to be so stupid? Uh, but that's fine, that's all right. Uh, so we did pretty good. Um, I'm about average in a top what I'm told top 50 guild uh, and I'm fighting against average people in a top 50 guild and I seem to match up very well so uh, that's all you can really ask for you know to be good enough uh, really um, so that's cool uh, but yeah like I said uh, be on the lookout for that uh, ML crowd video um, it's not entirely worthwhile to talk about him before he's out but you know especially like 
yeah, anyway, like I said, I'll talk about them in that video and uh, not ramble on too much here. But uh, yeah, so, you know, good luck on your Guild Wars out there. Uh, and that's it.